In this video, we'll see how to do practice problem 5 from experience 9. SAT scores are distributed with a mean of 1500 and a standard deviation of 300. You are interested in estimating the average SAT score of first year students at your college. If you would like to limit the margin of error of your 95% confidence interval to 25 points, how many students should you sample? To find the minimum sample size required, we will use the formula, which uses the critical value times the standard deviation divided by the margin of error. To find the critical value, notice that we will be using the normal distribution and use the confidence interval, or sorry, confidence level. Since the confidence level is 95%, the picture that corresponds looks like this. And the area in the middle is the 95 percent. Remember the total area under the curve is 100 percent. This leaves 5 percent for the two tails. Dividing that evenly because of the symmetry, we see that the area of the left tail alone would be 0.025%. Sorry, 2.5%, 0.025. So the area to the left is 0.025 will give us the negative critical value. In a lot of situations, we want the positive, but we're squaring here, so it won't really matter. So we hit second vars to the distribution menu, then inverse norm, then put in the area to the left and keep the mean 0 and the standard deviation 1 and we get the critical value. Now the full formula uses the critical value times the standard deviation 300 divided by the margin of error 25 and then squares that. Now we always want to round these answers up as using 553 individuals will give us slightly um, small or slightly larger margin of error. So we would use 554. With Excel, go to Sample Size tab at the bottom, put in the standard deviation of 300, the margin of error is 25, and the confidence level is 0.95. And you see that 554 individuals is chosen there.